Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, so tie back here with another reaction video. We gonna react to like all the um the little small little interviews with Lil J. Y'all know who Lil J is, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Chicago rapper. He just got out of jail. I think he did like eight years or something like that. But yeah, we gonna react to all the parts. I think it's like seven or eight parts, but like each part like two to three minutes. So I'm just gonna put it all into like one video, just react to it at the same time. So I'm gonna do separate vids, but yeah, this part one. Say Lil J released from seven years, be all seven years. Just the technology, everybody doing the same shit. Here we go, man. We got Lil J, the clown lord, man. The, the hottest rapper in the blogs and the tabloids right now, man. Welcome home. Appreciate that, man. I'm back, king, back, man. Almost eight years, man. Oh, eight years. Seven years of some change, man. When well, you know getting out, you feel like you know you came home to a, a, a whole different society, a whole different world. But the world changed all the time, so I've been adapting with that shit. I'm adapting with that shit fast, man. I'm cloud lord. So you get out. What was one of them things that you kind of had to adjust to that was different? Technology. That shit was hard, man. <laughs> Bro, uh, look, imagine, like, he only did, what, seven, eight years, right? Imagine, like, imagine you got life, like, fucking back in, like, the the 90s. And you just now getting out. And mind you, wasn't no phones for real. And you just getting out and you try to adjust to this shit now. That's even crazy. Even the world now. This shit be crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you, say you get out tomorrow, you just did, like, 30, 40 years in the... In the the joint or whatever, bro. You gotta adjust to this shit now, bro. That's, bro, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It took me like six hours to set up my phone. Six no, hours? Hell no. You know, Instagram changed a lot, too. Yeah. Just set up a new page. I don't, I don't know how to do none of that shit. I'm doing like the old ways. Yeah, a lot of people, I seen a lot of your fans was like, why don't he post on his story? Does he know how to post on his story? Like, they're trying to teach you how to oh, post on his story. Oh, do I have to do that shit, man? My daughter had to teach me or something. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yeah, you know, it's good to see you home in good spirits and, you know, you're doing your thing. You know, I seen you the other night, you know, I think y'all had like a little party, throwing money on the strippers and shit like that. <laughs> you got a weapon king back the right way, man. Bro. Does Chicago look the same to you? Yeah. But some, some shit look different though, just more updated. Buildings, shit like that, yeah. construction, like that. So really, technology was the only thing you really just came home to, it was really different, nothing else was different. Nope, oh, everything the same, everybody's still doing the same shit. It's all the same really, just we're fucked up now. Damn, that's the first part. Part two right here. <sighs> Fuck it. Part one. Part two. Damn, part two. Mind you, it's like four in the morning, Take fool. Your last Cause I mean, you've been there seven years. I know you're, are you counting down or? Yeah, yeah, I was in the hole. I, I came, I came, I came home from the hole, man. I was in sick, man. Open the motherfucker. <laughs> so I already had so, a lot of time just thinking all that. I had no TV, tab, none of that shit. Home two times a week. Two times a week. And is there a reason for that? Was it was that like some type of punishment? Yeah. See, it. two phone calls a week. And, and who would those two phone calls go to? Shit, more likely my mom. That's about it. My cousin. Does time go slower as you get closer to the release date? And that shit goes slow, but it go fast, if that makes sense. Go slow, but you like it's right around the corner, so a lot of all that time, I had to wait it out. Now the last twenty four hours, right? T take us through the last twenty four hours of you doing your seven year bit. Oh, I was happy as fuck. <laughs> See, I was happy as fuck, too. for real. I was just planning on my return, man. Make sure I don't make the same mistakes I made to get in that motherfucker. That's the only thing, because I'm going to win regardless. I just got to stay out there with people with. The 
last day, are your eyes glued on like a clock or a watch or like any time? I had a watch. I was watching a motherfucker. I ain't go to sleep. I went to sleep probably like 7 o'clock, woke up at 9 at night. I was up all the way to 10 the next morning and the whole day. And the guard opens the gate, right? Ha, take us through that. The guard opens the gate. They call your name. Like, take us through that that very last moment. And they, they bring me out, put the shackles in the handcuffs shit on me. Take me to pack my clothes out. She had make me sign my check and all that. And they push me out of my property. Once I hit the front gate, my heart dropped, man. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. I was happy as hell. Right? Not in front of everybody. I cried. <laughs> real nigga shit, real nigga shit, real nigga shit. So you wait till you got by yourself, like with your mom, and you know, you let it out. Yeah. Real nigga shit. Part three, okay. I like how I just lined up right there, okay. No, no ad this time, okay, okay. Got a show. Now, I want to take it back to 2014 because I remember when the news broke that you got arrested or like a conspiracy or something like that of a murder or like take us the day you got arrested. Can you take us through that day now that it's all over? Man, that day was fucked up, man. I lost a good nigga that day, man, on the real. My homie Blood died that day. Shit. It was really on some, some self-defense shit. But, you know, must be talking. Police. You know how that shit go. So, so without getting into too many details, I know this is street shit at the end of the day. Although, all this is over. Y'all get out. Y'all got in, like, a, a shootout situation. Yeah. And, and one of your homies got killed. Yeah. And is, is, is this by a, was it by a cop or somebody else? No, it's by, it's by somebody else. Got okay. shot two, two people got shot. Okay, and because it was self-defense, why do you feel like they, they, they gave you that type of... No, nah, that shit was supposed to be self-defense. Motherfuckers switched the story up, man. They just be saying all this street shit. They in the streets killing motherfuckers, robbing people. Motherfuckers be the police, man. Getting the police to tell everything they know and, and fuck shit up. If, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be supposed to be fighting no case like this, man. Bro. So the shootout happens. Do you get arrested at the, at the situation or days later? I got locked up at the scene. At the scene. Everybody out except me. Yeah. Pointed everybody out. A witness. Okay, a witness. Get arrested. Crazy charges. I remember college kid, rap catch up, everybody academics. I think we reported on it. Do you feel like when you got locked up then, it was over? Like you probably never get out again? I was going to right and not right away. And I found out before it was turning the states. That's, that's when it started looking bad for me. So it's one thing to fight against the State's attorney and all that, but have one fucker on your team cross two, or a different ball game. Get the Simply Unlimited phone plan from Google Five now, starting at just twenty dollars a month per line. Sign up today. Part four. Say so FBG put a snitch on me for Italian beef and a Pepsi. I paid for his lawyer. Damn, that's fucked up. For a sandwich and a, a small ass. I know it's like a little fifty cent soda. Cause yeah, that shit's sick. Talking to you. We did like three <laughs> and kept telling me we're going to get out and things changed and then you told me you felt like one of your own people wrote a statement on it. Can we talk about that? Oh shit. To my Pepsi. I'm talking about, I'm talking about butter. Type beef and Pepsi. I don't know who butter is, man. Damn. I don't know that. That's, butter, the, that's, what you, that's what you call him now? That's what he called himself. That's what he was eating in that room. One of them statements out of shit. Damn. <laughs> That's his name, man. Go for motherfucker. I ain't feed me shit. I ain't get a sandwich, a motherfucking piece of bread, nothing. The sink ain't even working my cell. Oh, took him. He had a tight beef, a Pepsi, and a pack of squares right there. As soon as I saw that, oh yeah, that bitch told. Oh God, that shit sick. Little shit though, man. Real niggas always prevail, man. Bro, niggas know what they did. What's that? And, and how do you find out that he's talking? He tells you that. My lawyer and shit. I paid for his lawyer at first. Damn. And I paid for his lawyer. His lawyer tried to tell him. She first tried to tell me. 
What? What? Damn, they trying to get him to tell on each other? Tell him why I signed that. <laughs> no, bro. Why I signed that? He gets out four years earlier than you, right? Yeah, he took a, he took a plea deal to testify against me. But I'm about to put that out there soon, too. That, that paperwork, I still got that. That my OG locked up over that shit. Damn. So, I remember Duck was saying that he wish you would have took I respect that. I respect that. Bro, fuck, I'm telling for I shouldn't have opted the streets. Stay your bitch ass in school or something. You want to tell your bitch, you know? Stay in school, play basketball, football or something. That's shit. They for everybody. Then they give you 14 years. Yeah, I got myself 14 years. I I pay a lot of money for lawyers. I fought my shit myself. Got 14 and 50 for experiencing the murder. Myself, you know? Oh, um, degree, none of that shit. I just put my head in that leak. The leak shit. I'll smack my shit. I'm back here. Alright, that's part four, part five right here. At the University of Central Missouri, we yeah, don't nobody stop. care about this, this bro. Damn. I was going to beat up FGB Fisney, but he went to witness protection. Damn. Well, any nigga that said he real in the streets, 
Do something wrong, you getting up. Make that shit right if you can. They want to make it right. Witness protection. Yeah, they locked my mama right behind them. What? I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I found the all of you. tell it. So they locked his mama and his daddy up? Yeah, but that nigga gotta die. Oh, he said right here. He said my mom was sentenced to three years in jail because. So his daddy and his mama got. Bro, that's fucked up. How long did your mom do? She took three years. Three years? Yeah. Three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. Three years. Okay. And how accurate, because I'm, I'm, I'm hearing these reports too, how accurate, I think like the feds or somebody came to your mom's crib and yeah, they hit the last game. drives and stuff. They took, they took all the shit, they sent the police in there. Let's come get the computer. They ain't find shit. They ain't find nothing over there. They hit the crib thinking, uh, they sent the police over there. They don't even want to know we stayed. They sent the police over there. Then we had the shit. They got my OG locked up behind that. They ain't find nothing though, though. They ain't care. They, they protect their witnesses, man. <coughs> they gotta protect these snitches, man. <laughs> it's crazy. What do you think they were looking for in the flash drives at the time? The, the, the video statements of him crying on the, saying my whole name, the shit you, the, the everybody saw him signing that. That was a screenshot from a vid, the vid, that's a whole video right there. If look for that, the statements, even when I just, when I took my time back in 2019, when I got to the, to the, I was in jail, when I got to the prison, and I see, they sent the police in my cell to hit my cell thinking I still got the paperwork. They, they didn't want that paperwork to get out, man. It's too late. All our cases are over now. Y'all finna put all that shit out, bro. I believe his argument to the to the photo was that that was an old. That ain't no fucking old. I, it's old. When I when I put this paperwork out there, it's gonna show everybody description that day and everything on that in a picture of motherfuckers by themselves, man. It's like that's an old. That ain't no old. What? How that's old? Why? Why I ain't been out there if it's old? That's goofy shit. Motherfuckers try to say anything to cover it up, man. Can't cover it up. It's the truth and it's public records now, man. Stupid ass. You forgot that. So your mom did three years. Uh, well, she was sentenced to three. Did she do? She did. She did. Wanted some change. Okay, and this was a conspiracy, right? Intimidation of witness. Okay. The witness is um, Ty Beef and Pepsi. That's the witness. <laughs> and the witness. <laughs> it's almost a little time to be with. Damn, how many parts is it? Say. King Yellow is mad at me about a female. She didn't want him no more. Think he already taken niggas bitches. He just got out. What did King Yellow do to you? Man, he sneaked this over that bitch, man. We done fucked so many hoes together, man. I'm talking about. Sneaked this over this bitch. I asked him. And the bitch told me she in my inbox. What's to her, man? Go ahead and fuck her. I ball the bitch out. She don't want to fuck with him no more. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to get mad at me. And the crazy thing is, I wasn't even mad that he made the interview, but I saw him the same day. Then I fuck shorty. I come I come to the door with Glizzy in my hand and my boxer briefs. The girl trying to get my clothes. <laughs> I'm like, shit, go ahead. My oh, bro. Butter got his chains on. Butter got his chains on. Like, man, let me get my chains, man. Let Jay tell him, give it to me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you ain't getting shit. Like, damn, that's how you gonna do me? I get locked up. Probably like two days later, I see an interview. He talking about, I fucked this bitch all this. You could have said that to me in my face. That's cow shit. I'll smack the fuck out of him. Niggas know how I'm coming down. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So, all this is over a few minutes. This was before you got This was nine, over eight, a bitch, nine man. Ago. It's over a bitch, man. <laughs> How many hoes we the red? Had so many. I, I'm double O. One of us know I I got all the hoes anyway. I've been having them all forever. But bro, you gonna cry for her if you if you feel some type of way and say, oh man, that's my little bitch. I'ma say it. I don't give a fuck if she is thigh, okay, whatever. Fuck you. This is my little bitch. She off limits. And you gotta keep it one hundred. Right up. 
I'm double O, I never cared about that shit. Since not, not about no hoes, man. Don't make me about no hoes, man. Come on, we got some money or something, man. Damn, that one was short as fuck. How many parts is it? Like 10? Lil J on this, uh, it's probably like 10. Lil J on this one, with FBG cast, there from the other block, I'm just doing me. Man, I don't know. Right now because, you know, got FBG cast, and like I said, you got Dungey Young. You know, it seems like they were closer to, to Duck, but we, it's like a gap. It's like a bridge with, with you and them. What's the relationship like with, with those guys? I don't know, man. I, don't, I ain't been doing the relationship. I'm doing my own thing, man. I ain't. Don't live duck, though. That's all I got to say, man. I don't, everybody else is doing their thing, man. Did y'all grow up on the same block? Yeah, I'm, I, I grew up in the area, 63rd. I was standing on 62nd, St. Lawrence. I was a shorty. Okay, but you didn't grow up with FBG Cash and. Uh, they, not, they not originally from the block, man. Oh. Cash and, and Young, that's Cash, Young, Big Brother. They from Damonville, off Damon, man. Bro, they came over there. I've been over there. I had a crib right on St. Lawrence. They call she from Gracie Crib, Trap. And you met them through Duck? I met them just coming to the block. They met them through Duck. What do you want? Okay. Big on me? <laughs> so, 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 you're saying they're not from 63rd? Not originally, hell no. They know that. Okay. Man, it, it seems like, you know, since you've been home, everybody has something to say. You know? Let's go have you been looking at them on YouTube and stuff? come back around, man. You gotta speak on greatness. Good have up, Have you man. been looking at on YouTube and, and things like that? Everybody just having something to say? Yeah, I don't be reading that shit. I've been chasing the bag. Get back to it. I don't even be reading no comments, none of that shit. I ain't watch no interviews, none of that shit, Jack. Damn, how many parts he got? Part 7. Why is Famous Deck rapping if he don't got 80,000? My homie didn't send me money. When you were locked up, you were asked which friends held you down. He was like, you know, none of my gang did shit for me. That shit ain't no joke. There ain't no yeah. My people took care of me. My first day, they really love me. Little no gang members, the niggas that was getting record deals, not shit. Niggas weren't giving me shit. Nobody at all. It's fucked up. Hell no. Nah. Let's forget about you even now. That's the way you the king, when you love. My fuckers think I can get a little shine now. Nah, my fuckers forget about you. My fuckers prayed on my downfall. I'm back now. <laughs> That make you look at things differently now? Hell yeah. Way different. More free hearted, Lil J, careful motherfuckers. Fuck niggas, they ain't been with me all this time. They ain't gonna be with me now, period. You're saying you didn't get a a, a red penny? They didn't send you anything? No, hell no, I'm not a burning penny. Because I mean, when you were locked up, a lot of your a lot of your friends was getting these big deals. Go from, from X to, you know? They was spending that shit on they self on the fake ass jury they win. Dex went crazy, I ain't gonna lie. They spend that shit on drugs, hoes, 2016, 2017. You know, when I talked to famous Dex about it, I remember this interview had to be like six years ago. He said, um, he said, Sean, I, I want to help him, but I'm not a millionaire. I'm still an up and coming rapper. Yeah, his ass had that bread in. Yeah. He's supposed to give me like 10000 one time. I had my OG pull up on his block over there. Oh, bro, and stop answering the phone and shit. Like, come on, man. You really fucked up, just say that, homie. You ain't got to do that to impress me or something. If you ain't got it, or I, I ain't asking for the motherfucking handouts, man. The bro, I'm straight regardless. Off of it, I sent my OG over there. And I know when the guy so my OG, he oh, stopped answering the phone. So I said, fuck. Bro, nobody fucking ain't fucked up by no bread. I remember, I think your bill at the time that I interviewed him it was eighty thousand. He was like, "I don't got eighty thousand, man. Like, I don't got eighty thousand. Well, you wasting your time. You rapping, dog? Look what you doing?" Damn, his bond was only eighty k. And, and niggas ain't.
Damn, I thought he was cool with Duck. Duck ain't have 80k? He got 80,000. Niggas man, I'm making millions. You ain't got 80,000. He rapping and shit. Damn, stop that, man. Damn, yeah, Dex. On what year was that? Good or bad, some drugs being hype. Or the fake ass jury. Big, big fake ass diamonds. So, you know, FBG Duck signed the deal too. Rest in peace, Duck. He signed the deal too. Um, and you even told me when we did our interview, you said, you, you know, you and him, y'all settled y'all differences a week before he passed. Yeah. Um, he was another person I I think you felt like, you know, damn, like I'm in jail, we grew up together. Like, what's up? You felt like, you know, everybody forgot about you. Yeah, I did, but think about it. All the guys ain't never been shit anyway. I knew my fuzz wasn't gonna try to reach me. Guys ain't shit. We always been some sixty thirties and grabbing motherfuckers, man. For where I'm from, I know the guys. They, I know niggas want to go reach for that brand, no matter. A lot of selfish niggas where I'm from. I probably is one of the only free hearted motherfuckers. All my other homies, back though, set you up, take your shit. So it seems like from the outside in. I'm not from Chicago. I see everything. I'm on YouTube. Where does FBG now? I mean, you got FBG Cash, you got Dutchie, you got Young, you got from, from Billionaire Black to, to the King Yellow to, you know, Doug. It's a lot of, I keep going, it's a lot of y'all that really came up together. Where do y'all stand at now? What's going on with FBG? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just living my best life, living how I've been living. Shit, solo dolo on my team. On my WTO shit, man, all the other shit, I don't know nothing about it, I ain't been knowing nothing about it, period. On my WTO shit, that's it, that's all. Bro, niggas better, niggas better catch up, though, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> niggas better most definitely catch up, man, because I'm finna, man, look, it's finna go, it's finna be epic, all that bullshit, my fuss been dropping. My fuss still in my style, still in my flow, came back, now what y'all gonna do? Y'all better do something, oh, bro. That was for me, bro. All the money coming to me. You haven't talked to none of these guys since you've been out? Talked to me, you know. That's it? Yeah. Yella called my phone. I don't know why he called me. <laughs> uh, well, he called me, but I don't know why. I'm going to keep that same energy, man. Don't think it's the same, nice, forgiving LJ, man. It's not, man. Bro, I've been gone seven years away from my family. My kids, all that shit, man. I'm not the same motherfucker no more, man. I'm not for none of that shit. You ain't been with me, fuck you. I don't give a fuck who you is. Talk and I'm in Chirac, I'm bro. Like, I want to talk, bro. With the real steppers, too, so y'all come. Y'all better come correct, man. Bro. Who is out playing? I don't think I've seen this one. This the part. I think it's the last one. What's some crazy stories in jail? Take us through some crazy stories. What's <laughs> some of the craziest shit that you remember? Yeah, I remember a lot of crazy shit. We all want to talk about no jail, man. I'm you traumatized behind that about? shit. Got PTSD, man. Fuck that jail shit, man. But I was in Cook County, though. That's the wildest joint. That's the wildest motherfucking jail in the world. You know, it seems like a lot of people don't you know, have things to say, you know. I mean, this is like recently, like, you know, a Rico Reckless, a 600 little mister saying something about PC. Can, Man. can, you, can we address that? Because that's the number one question people really want to talk about. Yeah. Like a year until when I got locked in, they put me in PC. They had some money on my head. I was that bitch beating the fuck out though. They, they administrative put me in that shit. I was in that shit for like a year and a half. I had to get court cool orders and all type of shit to get out that shit. Yeah, I was in there, so what? They put me there. That one no. Oh, I'm scared. Niggas know I'm not scared. You never heard me get my ass beat. None of that. I've been knocking motherfuckers out for years. I'm bro. But that shit wasn't done. No scary shit. That was administrative. Shit like that happened. You got to get court cool orders and all type of shit. You just can't get out that shit. I was in it. And so when you're in jail in Cook County, when you were PC at that time, it was like you didn't have a choice. Yeah, but shit, BC is the same shit. That's a different title, man. What fuck's up there? Well, I would say it was killers, uh, robbers, rapists, shit, man. Super max. 
How many people did you have to fight around that time? My first day, two niggas, my bro, two BDs, beat them. They thought it was dead. Knocked one of them out, broke the other one up. <laughs> and, and my old Sally was there, man. He probably knew him. Uh, Rashad Jamal. That was my old Sally. Yeah, I was bro. Some motherfuckers driving, beat them. Yes. So how how do you find out they have money on your head? Is it just you? Well, I didn't know. I was through that bitch with a shank on me every day. I wasn't worried about that shit. They was worried about that shit. You know? What's that shit? They told me that. And you gotta go up here and do that. And make me no difference. I'm still jealous, trying to beat my case. It should don't make me a break. How long were you in PC at that time? Like a year and a half. And I was going on shipping and all that shit. Remember, I was doing them. Video calls and shit. That's when they was having PC, sending me different counties and shit. Won't even they could count. Right. Okay, so that's that. You know, so it was. You know, that that was the word, man. A lot of people speaking on, you know, PC and, and acting like that's where you wanted to go. And why? Why the fuck would I want to go there? Let's go for shit. Niggas just be talking because they got mouths, man. Niggas ain't saying none of that shit now, man. Bro, a lot of us talking. I was gone. It's quiet as church mouse now. And you're GD, right? I'm insane. But there you have it, man. That's the whole interview, bro. That's it for this video. I know this shit probably long as hell. Let me see. 30 minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's it for this video, now.